What are equivalent fractions? Bonjour, guten tag, konnichiwa, hola, shalom. What do all these words have in common? These words mean hello in different languages. They are words that mean the same thing, but look completely different. What does this have to do with equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions look different, but mean the same thing. For example, if we took one half and we took two quarters, the shaded portions are exactly the same. They are equal or equivalent. A great strategy you can use to find equivalent fractions is by skip counting. Multiply the top and the bottom number by the same thing and it will give you a fraction that is equal to the original. These circled fractions are all equal to one half or equivalent. You can skip count by any number you choose, times three, times two, times seven, whatever you feel like. Just don't forget to multiply the top and the bottom of your fraction by the same number to get its equivalent fraction. Remember, equivalent fractions look different but mean the same thing. There are many ways to compare fractions to see if they are equivalent, and equivalent is another word for equal. Now let's talk about some different strategies you can use to compare fractions. We compare fractions to find out which is bigger, which is smaller, or if they are equal. We can also use this information to put fractions in order from greatest to least, or least to greatest. When comparing fractions, we can use the example of 2 tenths and 8 tenths. The bottom number is 10 on both sides. When that's the case, we can look at the top two numbers, 2 and 8. 8 is larger than 2, so 8 tenths is the larger fraction. When the bottom number is the same, it's easy to compare. Pac-Man likes to eat the bigger piece, so he will want to be facing 8 tenths. Cross multiplying can also be used when the bottom number is different. We can multiply 7 times 8 to get 56, and 9 times 5 to get 45. Then we can compare those brand new numbers, making 8 ninths the bigger fraction. Here's another example of 4 fifths and 6 eighths. The bottom numbers are different, so we can cross multiply. Multiply 8 times 4 to get 32, and 5 times 6 to get 30. Use the new numbers to determine which is the bigger fraction and add the appropriate symbol. These methods will help you decide whether a fraction is smaller, bigger, or equivalent. Thanks for watching!